Hello, my name's Stephen Tomkinson, and you're watching Mariners TV. John, great scenes at the end there. You can see how much it means to the players on the staff. Can you show how much it means to, to everyone here? Yeah, the fans as well. Uh, we were coming off and they were, they were magnificent. It's, it's an unbelievable achievement uh, and it can't be underestimated. We, um, you know, we got in there at the end and, and told them to really, really enjoy themselves, enjoy what they're doing. They should be really proud of what they've, what they've achieved. Um, we're still forever the, the critics. Uh, we know that there's massive things we can improve on and if we're to stand any chance in the next round, we're, we're quite a few things we're going to have to smarten up. But um, no, listen, they've, they found a way. That's one thing that you say at every level of football. If you're struggling to get your rhythm, struggling to get your game going, find a way. Uh, and tonight they dug in and they got themselves over the line. Both teams had the chances in that game. I guess it could have, could have been either way in the end, but to get over the line doesn't show how much sort of mental strength the lads have. Yeah, um, I mean, they, they always keep going, they always keep going forward. They've never really stopped. We've shown that in previous rounds and in the, in the times that we scored the goals ourselves. Um, but I, we came in at half time and you know, I, think, I think I was first to speak and said, you know, you're in front and you don't necessarily deserve to be. Um, and I think that's fair. I think uh, Hartlepool created some really good chances. We gave them quite a few of those chances, which is, again, something that we just cannot do, especially when we go and play against somebody like Fulham. Um, but as we said, you know, we've, we've dug in, we've continued to go, we've worked hard, we've pressed, we've created a few more chances ourselves. Uh, I just said, not long before, I don't even know whether it was actually as the, as the corner was lining up, I said to Wes, we need that goal, because uh, I did feel that they were going to score another goal. Um, and then Big Ben goes and gets himself another another goal. It's been an unbelievable run for him from a goal's point of view, but he's also playing really, really well. I don't want people to get wrapped up in just these goals. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they, they all put an absolute shift in. The pitch is a little bit heavy out there as well. Um, but fair play, Hartlepool played a great part in a, in a great cup tie. Uh, they played two days ago, not not everybody, but they played two days ago and they've come here on a heavy pitch and um, and they put a really good performance in, so, you know, really good cup tie in the end. It was a game that required a lot of hard work from all players in the team, but particularly Sam Hodgson up front. Yeah. How good was that shift from him today? Yeah, I mean, again, took his two chances, I would, I would say they're the only two sniffs he's really had at goal. Obviously one's a penalty, but his goal took them both really well. But he is, he's tireless, he just continues to put the work in for you and at the end there you could see he was out on his feet and we dropped him in to a place where there's even more work for him uh, in the final moments. But uh, yeah, he's, he's not the only one, like I said, there was a lot of tired legs out there, some really uh, hard shifts put in, um, but we're just obviously really proud of him. Not the other end, you needed Ethan sometimes in the game as well. How impressed were you with how he dealt with those situations? Yeah, you know, Ethan's putting a lot of effort in, he's putting a lot of work into his game, and you know, he knows that there's frailties. You know, and a couple of times tonight he's shown them, um, but what he's done is recovered magnificently well. You know, the first half he gave the ball away, and it's a goal. Uh, the kid's running away from him, and he somehow gets back and makes a save. They've had a header from three yards, he's managed to keep out. Uh, so he's, he's He's pulled off some fantastic saves. He knows he's his biggest critic and he knows there'll be moments tonight that he wasn't happy. But overall, again, he's come out on the winning side. He's made some big contribution to, to a win. The fans came out in the numbers again. They've been a big part of this whole run. What would you like to say to them? <sighs> Let's put on a bus and get them all down to Fulham. Um, you know, like it's God, we keep talking about them. They, they're there for the first team. They're there for these lads. It's, it's, another, it's another notch on that experience belt that we keep talking about. You know, they, if you if you play in those games as an 18 year old and you win and you come off to that level of applause and that that kind of support just makes you want it again and that's what we want we want to push into that thinking well if that's what we get in the youth team imagine what it's going to be like if we win for the first team. The academy's only been running for three years. How much credit does everyone deserve to get through to the third round of the FA Youth Cup so quickly after performing? I guess. Every, well, again, everybody probably barring me. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've kind of swooped in here uh, the last few months uh, and joined a magnificent team of people that have spent three years building an infrastructure and a club and an academy that, that is only heading in one direction which I'm sure I've mentioned a million times um, so everybody that's involved I, I, obviously Lee and Graham put a, a, an unbelievable amount of effort coming across from their previous jobs to, to combine what they've done here with the first team and then obviously backed in by where's Jamie yourself and everybody else behind the scenes it's it's unbelievable and, and again I suppose people talk about the football, you get out what you put in. Well I think that's what's shown tonight is we've got to the third round of the Youth Cup in our third year, second round last year. You don't get there without working hard. Just finally through to the third round now, a trip to Fulham to look forward to. What's your thoughts on that game and then the prospect of that? <laughs> well uh, it's, it's going to be a different obviously proposition to what we faced. Um, you know they, they're no doubt going to be really talented. We're definitely going to, well 
more than likely end up with less of the ball than we're used to. But it's a brand new test. As Jamie Williams likes to say, it's going to be fantastic feedback for the players, for us as a club, to see where we are, to see where they are. Um, but what an exciting prospect, regardless of the result of the next round, to get to where they are, to play who they're playing against. They deserve massive credit. So they can go down there, thoroughly enjoy the, the experience, but we ain't going down there to, uh, to make up the numbers.